Well, welcome everybody to my mini presentation on the SHAPE program at the virtual Praise booth at SC21. My name is Chris Johnson. I'm based at the at EPCC at the University of Edinburgh. I coordinate the Praise SHAPE program. And this, this talk, I aim to give you an overview of the program and how it is used to help SMEs. And in particular, I'll give you some examples of the kinds of projects that we've carried out. I framed most of my talk as a series of questions, which I'll aim to try and answer within the slides. Well, what is the SHAPE program? SHAPE stands for the SME HPC Adoption Program in Europe and runs within PRACE. The program was launched back in 2013 as a pilot call with the second call launched in late 2014. From 2015 onwards, calls have been run at six monthly intervals. The most recent call, call 14, is the final call under the Praise 6 IP project. It opened on the 1st of October and closes on the 15th of November. Projects from this call will run during the first half of 2022. The application process is designed to be straightforward. Um, you, need, you have no, no, don't need to have any prior experience of HPC and um, proposals are assessed mainly on the business case rather than the, the technical case. So how can SMEs benefit from SHAPE? The SHAPE program aims to raise awareness within SMEs of HPC and to give those with little or practically no HPC experience help in trying out HPC. Um, I'll talk in a few slides time about what we actually mean by HPC in the SHAPE context and what it may mean to an SME, but I'll first mention some of the benefits. There are a number of ways in which HPC can benefit SMEs. It can enable the development of new products that aren't practical without HPC. It can speed up development, leading to a reduction in time to market, which can also reduce R&D costs. It may also increase the quality of services and products. It may reduce marketing costs, manufacturing costs, or may um, allow innovation. We're seeing a merging of what we might call HBC and big data. This leads to more opportunities within the HBC sectors and for new sectors that might not traditionally have used HBC. We've had a number of projects um, from medicine or finance, for example, not traditional HBC users. So why don't SMEs already try HPC? Well, the simple answer is that there are quite a number of barriers to SMEs wanting to just try out HPC. Firstly, there's a cost of operation. If you take into account all the overheads, the first project could cost the SME a large five or even six figure sum, which most SMEs are not in a position to spend when there's no absolute guarantee of success. Secondly, the SME may have no in-house HPC expertise, meaning consultancy would have to be brought in. Thirdly, the SME might not have access to suitable hardware to actually try things out. This all implies risk if the SME hasn't used HPC before, but there are potentially high benefits. So what do we mean by HPC? HPC isn't just about running large code on, codes on huge supercomputers. HPC can actually mean many different things. It could mean trying out GPUs. It could mean taking a code which presently runs serially, i.e. on a single core system. Um, in, and enabling it to run in parallel, i.e. on multiple cores, perhaps tens of cores. It could mean optimizing a code via algorithmic improvements or increasing the amount of data that can be analyzed. It could mean taking a set of distinct components in the SME's tool chain or workflow and linking them together, or it could mean providing some kind of service to users involving some of the above techniques. All of these can have a profound effect on the way SMEs do business. So what do SMEs get from a SHAPE project? The SHAPE project is really a collaboration between the SME and the Praise Centre involved. The SME gets two things. Firstly, and most importantly, they receive help from an expert at a Praise Centre, usually between two and six months of help. The staffing is flexible. Often the work isn't on the SME's critical path, so it can be done over a longer period, longer time frame. Secondly, the SME gets access to the most suitable HBC system within PRACE with an allocation of machine time on this system. It can, of course, help with the setup of accounts and so on. In return, throughout the project, the SME must supply the domain experience, expertise, which we won't necessarily have ourselves. At the end of the project, we do request a short technical document describing the project. We call this a white paper. 
although this can be produced in collaboration with the Praise Centre, so the SMEs don't have to do this alone. We will also ask for feedback with uh, help with future publicity and also carrying out a, carry out a survey asking about the return on investment, use of HBC and so on, a year or so after the project ends. So which SMEs have applied to SHAPE? Well, so far we've had 74 SHAPE projects approved. Um, my, many have uh, completed, a few are in progress and others about to start. Uh, you can see a few of the SHAPE logos there, by no means all of them, um, as well as a few SMEs from traditional areas, such as engineering, biology, and biochemistry. There are also a few from shipping firms, medical applications, firms doing satellite geolo geological surveys and, and so on. So I'd like to move on to some of the examples of projects we've had. Uh, so firstly, Renuda is a company in the UK specializing in CFD, whose goal it was to improve the performance of their steam turbine models, which in turn would improve the turbines themselves. Within the project, the code known as Codex was analyzed and benchmarked. The code was optimized and parallelized using OpenMP. Overall, this resulted in the code running 27 times faster than the original code um, when used, utilizing 16 cores. The simulation, which originally took one and a half days, um, was reduced down to, to just 90 minutes. So then we move to Albertan, another UK company. Uh, so this one was modeling wave power. So development of hardware is very expensive. So they were looking to do modeling at large scale uh, so they can have a wide range of scales to harness all the different wavelengths available. Um, they expanded their model to do parallel computing, adding a library called Petsy. They enabled them to do much larger scale simulations to enable better design for, for full arrays. Um, Open Pharma are a company based in Germany. Um, so HLRS in Stuttgart worked with them to use the free software Open Foam to model clean room airflow. Open Foam is already HPC enabled and they were able to use Open Foam to do their simulation and also provide mock-ups to the clients. Due to the shape project, the airflow simulations are much faster and cheaper than before and are commonly utilized in the research and development process now. Optima Pharma has offered major customer specific simulations of ordered uh, filling machines for the customer's marketing policies. The Invent Medical Group are based in the Czech Republic and they create cranial orifices or head supports. These are created via 3D printing. It's expensive to produce models, to test them, refine the designs and print another one and so on. So simulating the products can be very much more efficient. The, the group tried out standard open source software, um, a package called Espresso, and compared it to the well-established package ANSYS they were already using, as well as, a, as doing physical tests. This worked all very well for the SME. So that hopefully gives you an overview of what SHAPE is about and gives you a few examples. So SMEs are key to a thriving economy. So we believe that many SMEs would benefit from using HBC if they got the chance to try it out. Potential reductions in cost, reduced time to market and so on. Um, but as, as I mentioned earlier, there are barriers to this, initial cost, risk, access to resources and so on. So these barriers we're aiming to help SMEs overcome with the intention to develop tangible benefits to an SME's business. So thank you very much for listening to my talk. <laughs>